full time in the North London derby. Arsenal 3, Spurs 1. Arsenal can now have the bragging rights. And, yeah. I'd, we were just really bad. We conceded three goals in 35 minutes. Like, where I've never seen that happen before. Three goals conceded in 35 minutes. To be honest, our defence today was completely awful. Completely awful. I just knew it. Start Romero instead of Davis and Sanchez and probably we wouldn't have conceded three goals. But I think one pos that no two positives I can take. We score the goal and we played really nice football in the last five minutes. The only thing positive the two positive things I can take from this North London derby. The rest of it was completely awful. I think our only good player today, he came off the bench, Brian Ginn. He was our only good player today. Everybody else was crap. Even Harry Kane was bad. We, we just played really bad. We played really bad. We played super bad. Let's just talk about the goals. The first one, Emil Smith Rowe. Davinson Sanchez can clearly see that Emil Smith Rowe is coming into the box. He's marking a man and he tells Shafat Tanganga to go mark Emil Smith Rowe. And he doesn't. Simple ball to Smith Rowe. Bang, 1 0. I can't lie, Tanganga's been really bad lately, in my opinion. He has been terrible recently. Our last few games, the games that he's played in, Today, sorry, it's a fly, wasp thing, but yeah. Today he was bad. Did he play against Wolves? I don't think he did. No, we didn't. Oh, yeah, we did. I'll say, yeah. Today, the Wolves game, he was quite bad. Against Chelsea, obviously, he didn't play. Wren, he was bad. And against Crystal Palace. Four games, he was crapping. I'm telling you now, Tanganga. What has happened? What has actually happened to you? Four games you've played in, and all those four games, you have been terrible. Get back on form and do your job. The second goal, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. We were on the attack. We're going to go get an equaliser. Harry Cam loses the ball, I think, to either Gabriel or Ben White. And they, they just go up the other end and score. To be honest, Harry Cam was awful. Harry Cam was awful. He was generally awful to that. Go. He's acting like... He's probably thinking him to himself right now. Why did I decide to stay at Tottenham? He's probably thinking... As soon as he posted that Instagram, his Twitter and stuff, today he's probably thinking, why on earth am I still at this football club? To be fair, you can go, go to Man City, man. Go play with your friends. Go play with your friends if you want to. To be fair. But yeah, the third goal, Bukayo Saka. All I can remember is, I think it was him against Regulon, I think. I can't remember. Yeah, I think it was him against Regulon. Just got the ball, got past Regulon, got past about two of our defenders and put it into the goal. To be fair, man, I feel really bad for Hugo, man. He did, he did all right today, in my opinion. He made a few good saves, but I feel really bad, man. But our goals, quite, I wasn't really paying attention, to be honest. But all I know, I just heard, I just heard cheers and I just said, oh, Son scored. From Martin Tyler, I was like, oh my god. I was like, yeah, we scored the goal, we scored the goal. And I'm like, I would say, like, ever since the last, I think, the last, the last 10 to 5 minutes, I think that's where we played well. And that's just really frustrates me. You're losing 3 1 and you decide to play nice football in the last 10 minutes. Why, why can't you do that? During the 
game when you're like one nil down. Not in the last ten minutes when you're losing three one. But to be fair, to be fair, man of the match for me. In my opinion. In my opinion, I'm gonna give it to Smith Rowe. I think he did quite well today, in my opinion. Obviously got a goal, got an assist, did really well, won he got the ball, created chances for Arsenal and to be fair, I think he did really well, but Granite Jack, I flipping hate him, man. He's he, like he just like he just likes to try and break too far players. But yeah, up the Brighton. Hopefully they beat Arsenal next week. Um to be honest, I think that Luke, Lucas Morris is shot by what a save by Aaron Ramsdale. Big up, that, 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 that. big up Ramsdale for that save. But yeah, it is annoying. It's really annoying that we lost. But yeah, uh, we got our next few games. Uh, we got Mura in the Europa Conference League. Oh, I don't know. I don't even know how they did. Let's see how they got on. Um. Oh, they're playing today at 7.15, so in about 30 minutes from now. So we'll see how they get on. Uh, but, yeah, that game has to be a win, in my opinion. Obviously, we are favourites to win that competition, so we have to win that game. Uh, then we got Aston Villa. Um, in my opinion, again, it's going to be a difficult game. Villa beat Manchester United on the weekend. They'll be buzzing with that result, and... I think they'll be really confident going into this game. I don't, I don't think they'll have Leon Bailey for that game. Um, I'm not really sure to be honest. But to be, to be fair, if we, if we play, I, I think, I think, I think we are going to lose the Villa. To be honest, uh, a few people are Nuno out already. I'll talk about that in a minute. But Villa, I think we are going to lose, and then. Then we got Newcastle on the 17th of October. Newcastle, last time we played them, I think we drew one all. I think. I can't remember. I think it was, t I think it was two all. all. I yeah, no, it was two all. It was two all. And to be honest, if we lose to Villa, are we going to beat Newcastle? Well, we better beat them, to be, to be fair. We better beat Newcastle. Because look at them, look at them at the moment. They're doing really bad at the moment. But obviously, then we got uh, Vitesse again. That should be a win. West Ham, it's going to be a lose because I'm doing quite well at the moment. And then we got Burnley in the cup, which should be a win. So uh, yeah, um, there are a few. But to be honest, I think the next Premier League game against Villa, I think, will probably be a loss. Newcastle away, that's a must-game win. I, f I don't know, I'm not even going to say. Uh, then West Ham, I think they're going to lose, to be honest. But yeah, um, you're probably thinking now, am I Nuno out? <laughs> a few people are Nuno out. Am I one of those people who are Nuno out? I think at the moment, I'm, I'm a bit 50-50. I am, but then I'm not at the same time. I think if we lose to Villa, Newcastle and West Ham... I think I'm going to be Nuno out. Because, like, look at these games, man. Loss, draw, loss, draw, loss. I know we did beat Wolves, but in nine minutes it was two all. No win in five games. Five games. Like, that is not good. I'm sorry, but that's not good enough. That is not good enough. But, yeah, I'm just going to end it here. To be honest... As I said, I'm a bit 50-50 with Nuno, Nuno out. Um, I'm, I am, but I'm not at the same time. But, uh, yeah, we move on to play Mura on Thursday in the Europa Conference League. But, yeah, in a bit.